Hope y'all are having a good one. Today I got something completely different. This is uh, the Jegs Stinger two-wheel drive buggy. Um, I picked this up, I think it's been about a year ago now, I think. Uh, real cheap, uh, pretty similar to the Bandit uh, in its layout. Um, I think these were like 75 bucks brand new. Um, I can't remember exactly what they were, uh, copied off of. I keep wanting to say like a Geneva or something like that. But anyways, uh, that information's out there somewhere, I'm sure. But... Last night I dug this thing out and kind of went over it since I haven't driven it in a while and it was still bone stock. Uh, I wanted to try something a little more unique. So I uh, put the old Fling Kings on the back. It is ridiculously wide now. But I wanted some traction because those little pin tires don't have a whole lot in wet tall grass and leaves and then I just threw my uh, deep woods on the front of it just to get a little more meat and some weight up there I threw my copperhead and the castle motor that I had in uh, my base camp in there that is a 2280 kV motor um, so it's, it doesn't sound like it's real fast, but with the gearing that's in this particular thing, um, it's, it moves. So there's the copper head. And then I've got just the 4200 3S pack in there from CNHL. Other than that, the servos, the, 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 the steering servo is stock. Um, I couldn't tell you what it is. It's buried in there pretty good, but it's just a, a weak little RTR servo. And then I went ahead and uh, swapped out the receiver for my Fly Sky. So, yeah. Other than that, she is bone stock straight from Jegs. Um, it does actually have metal dog bones for the rear drive shafts. So that's a plus at least. Um, these particular tires I got from a buddy for free because they are uh, dry rotted real bad and they are gonna end up falling apart here pretty soon. So we'll see if they can hold up to today's little bash around. Don't have anything in particular planned with this one, uh, other than find a couple little hill climbs and a couple little jumps and see if it survives. I honestly don't know if you can even get replacement parts for these. So we'll see what happens. I don't have any other plans uh, as far as future projects with this. So if we break it, it's broke. But I'm gonna tear this thing up, see what happens.
living in life.